start the meeting. Okay. And yeah, I mean, if you just had quick questions, you need to go, you're ready to stay, whatever you want to do is cool. Um, okay, so our agenda today, you guys, this is getting so exciting. <laughs> I don't know how you feel, but, you know, uh, I mentioned that Nick Zakar, we said, hey, Nick, we're going to be showing everybody's videos on December, our summit. Do you want to join us? And he's like, heck yeah. So um, he will be reviewing the videos and um, talking about them and all that good stuff. So if you're the kind of person that likes to impress your teacher, <laughs> then here's your chance. Um, or if you also on the other end, if you're if you're a perfectionist and you're having a hard time finishing your video, please do so. Don't worry about it. Um, so key dates is that the, the video is due, make sure that it's horizontal, not, um, not vertical. So horizontal like YouTube, um, that I had been saying the final impact report was due November 30th, but we're actually moving that a few days. So it'll be next Saturday. So that will be November 27th. And then our impact summit is December 14th through 16th. Um, I wanted to show you a sample script that I thought was kind of a neat one. Here is one from Trinity Forestry Services. And it's it's kind of neat because it's Nyansi and Brenda sitting together. And then they kind of take turns talking. It's like, hey, you, frustrated with changing climate patterns, worry no more. It's Nancy and Brenda. Call us Team Trinity. We're right here to give you a way out with a vision of climate a climate change resilient society. We've been challengers. And then they go into the team managed to plant 23,000 trees. Uh, we engaged 50 farmers. You know, so having those kind of numbers in there is really cool. And of course, we love that they mentioned the challenge and what they're able to do in 90 days. And then they finalize, you know, they say it at the end here of join us on this journey. You can find more about us here. I would make that a little stronger, a little more um, specific. Join us on this journey. You can volunteer with us. You can um, contribute, you know, give them a little bit more specifics. But that's a great, again, it's like if you didn't know anything about uh, Trinity Forestry Services after that, you definitely, you definitely would. Um, so I wanted to show you, you may have seen this, if you're in the group, you may have already seen some of these. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to show you the one from, and hi, Heather. Nice to see you. <laughs> um, let's see if I can do this correctly. Where the heck is it? I wanted to show you the one. I thought this was kind of cool. This is Pachamama Alliance, Kenya. Uh, you know what? I think I need to reshare this with adding the sound. Try that again. Okay, hold on. I didn't do it quite. Hey, Master. So generating activity. <laughs> Please are also used as housing materials as well as homes for the poor of care, wild animals. Count them. It many are local. And this is our bit again tourist attraction centers.
Yay. Cool, right? Again, it's like that was so short. One of the neat things that they did in theirs was they used the um, pan. I don't know if you remember when Nick was talking about using pan and zoom. So sometimes it was just a photo, but because they used the effect to to move across it, it seemed like it was more more active. Um, so let's see, I also wanted to show you like this one of Lala's, you don't have to speak French to know like the passion and what is happening here. Lala is amazing. She's on here right now. She's in Senegal. She does not speak a word of English and yet somehow she's been able to do everything in the challenge. <laughs> Dans de nombreux pays en voie de développement et l'une des secteurs les plus vulnérables au changement climatique. Régler le problème de l'agriculture et la reforestation, c'est intervenir dans le changement climatique. Et dans les plus démunis du Sénégal, intervient depuis octobre 2021 en plantant 50 000 plantes, 10 jardins communautaires et 2 tonnes de semences pour faire avancer l'intelligence agricole. Avec cinq groupements de femmes, trois associations de jeunes, trois écoles, des formations en agrobusiness et des sensibilisations. Cinq villages avec des énergies solaires. Nous cherchons des partenaires internationaux, des subventions, des volontaires pour nous aider à faire des progrès. Je m'appelle Lala Sankare, coordinatrice et donc les plus dominantes du Sénégal. Ok, so let's see, I need to stop that one somehow. There we go. Um, and there was one more I wanted to show you, which was Prossies. Um, I, I was gonna say when uh, one thing that, that Lala did, and she's creating another one, she's gonna do another version this week. One thing that Lala did is she posted in the group, her sample, um, as did Vicky and got comments. So in Lala's earlier videos, she was speaking very quietly and we couldn't, it was hard to hear and also it's hard to catch the passion. So she tried, she was first kind of standing in one place. So now she's like moving around and moving her hands and has more variety in, uh, in what the types of things she's saying. So that is the same with Prossy has been trying filming in different places. This is C3. My name is Prosen Namandi. I am an activist for both the food security and climate change activities in Uganda. I am the founder of Seeds for Uganda, and we are right now in Mukono district in Semesa zone. Uh, we normally train the people how to set up small gardens like this one. We give them seeds to do this, and we also train them how to use the plastic bottles set up uh, plastic bottle fences like this one so that they can protect their crops from not being fed on by chickens and got in from the neighboring communities. Uh, in the rural areas, we train the local people how to set up high-raised gardens, uh, set up um, rain harvest tanks and forest gardens. Um, here we are going to be showing you more of the gardens in the other communities. Yay, I love the cheering going on there, Heather. Nice. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that. Uh oh. What is. Hold on for a second. I have some YouTube video running in the background here.
Okay. Um, yeah, so it, you know, you can see that like, if all you want to do is just go stand out in the garden or stand wherever, <laughs> talk a little bit about what you're doing, it's going to be huge, right? Because, you know, if we see Heather in her at her school, and she says, I'm a teacher, we had this vision, we've gotten a grant, we've got this many people, you know, so I don't know, you couldn't maybe catch all of that from from Lala, she did a really good job where she said, we started 10 community gardens, we had, we planted this many trees, we had this many pounds of seeds, uh, we worked in five villages. So anytime you can have those numbers that come through, so it could be the number of volunteers that showed up, the number of work days, um, the pounds of something that you grew, a uh, number of events that you held, anything that, that I was taught by an editor that abstract concepts kind of float like clouds and they're like, you know, you're, you expand your mind, but when you drop a number, it's like grabbing on a, a line to hold that kind of floaty balloon type of thing. So then somebody can really grab it. Oh, they worked, they did 10 community gardens. They had 12 volunteers, they can picture that. They're like, wow, this is really good. It doesn't matter if your number is you planted one tree or tens of thousands, you're just conveying you're credible, you've done something. Um, so does anybody have any questions about, about their video? Um, yeah, Vicki, go ahead. Um, you, had, you had mentioned um, a site transfer um like how to how to transfer your oh, the video yes i actually forgot to share that part of the um the thing on the the agenda here so there is is it above this or below this yeah there's something called we transfer uh we transfer.com you just upload it and then it it gives you a link and then you send the link and then um, you have, whoever gets it has, I don't know, a week or something like that to download it. So it's a short-term file transfer um, link. We also do have a shared challenger folder. You can upload it there. Um, and you can also use it in the form itself. I don't know if you've tried it. Some people were able to submit it there and some not, um, but- well, uh, Can you- uh it is the meeting agenda on the green team cafe oh here let me just i just sent it out in an email but let me just put it here too i meant to um but also that is just we transfer.com okay um and then final final question this might be a silly question coming from a millennial there's no silly questions <laughs> um is how, what is the best way to get our, our video onto Instagram? So like from, from YouTube, I feel like I'm technologically advanced in some way. And then I'm like, I don't know how to do things that like people my age should know how to do. Um, no. <laughs> the, how do you, so how do you get the video onto Instagram without just filming your computer? Yeah. So you can, um, I think you can just upload your video to um, to Instagram just as a as a post. You can't. Wouldn't you have to? It would have to be on your phone then, right? Because oh. you can't because you can't upload from you can't upload from the computer on Instagram. It has to be done by your phone, right? Yes. Okay. Right. So it would have to be on your phone. So, so okay. if you can, yeah, that's a good point. But I mean, the thing is a one minute video, you can probably email it to yourself. Okay. Uh, if not, if you put it up in Google drive, you can maybe mm -hmm. share it back down to your, um, to the to phone, your, to your phone and do it that way. Um, yeah. Okay. And if you, if you upload it to YouTube, um, yeah, that doesn't really help you for Instagram because it wants the actual. It wants the video. video. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. That was very helpful. <laughs>
I'm pretty sure that's the right answer. <laughs> how about how about you, Heather? What are you what are you thinking about? I know you said like things are are kind of kooky in the as a teacher, all the stuff you're managing right now. Well, I think the team really wants to do it. So I think we're going to try to figure out how we can do it. And, um, you know, I say, I think what our best option would be, and we, we were going to do it last night, but then a meeting came up. So we were really close because it was so nice weather yesterday. But, um, but I think what we're going to do is just kind of a, a quick ad lib standing out there talking about it um, might be our best bet at this point. That's why I was wondering, like, where would it be posted? And, you know, because obviously it will be public. So I have to be careful with mentioning different things, you know, or, right. or adding pictures, you know, just be cautious with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one thing I would say is that um, I think figuring out the script ahead of time will actually save you, um, will save you time. So kind of figuring out who's going to say what, where you're going to stand, and then you can just do it. And like that, you could just do it on your phone and video and then pause and move to another spot or, or have another person come in or however you decide to do it. Um, but it's the, that's what I've noticed is the people that figure out the script first, then they're working on the, they understand the timing. It's a little less painful. Because you, you're not like, oh my God, we just record. I mean, I've done this. <laughs> oh, I just record for five minutes. I thought that was only going to be a minute. Um, and then whatever. So just figuring out the words that you're going to say um, that will cover a minute. That would be awesome. Yeah, cool. Um, Mika, we did show your video before you arrived. Um, yeah, Vicki, you have a question. And then I want to ask Ivan if he has anything as well. Go for it. Uh, yeah, so um, our format is, um, a, is a little different and, and maybe um, sharing how we did it might be helpful too. So um, oh, I- Oh, totally. If you even want to share yours. Oh, I, yeah. We, yeah, let's do, let's do that. I was just kind of grabbing the ones I had easy access to. Um, yeah, I haven't uploaded mine <laughs> into, the, into the portal yet. Um, let me okay. make you a co-host if you want to share. Um, yeah, my screen. Oops. Mm -hmm. Let me, uh, sorry. Um, uh, pause. And okay. So, um, what we did is we just took, a, we took a lot of videos and then I, I cut in with, with the words. Um, so we did, we did like the talking afterwards. So, um, let me share my screen and I'll show you how we did it. Oh, yep. Uh, that one. Okay, can I run? Oh, sorry. All right. Can everyone see it? Did you share your, your sound? Oh, how do I share my sound? So stop share. And then when you share again, it's gonna ask, there's a little tiny box in the left corner that says share audio. I don't think I've ever, Okay, so share my screen. But when it, when you went to share it, it before you clicked yes, or be, when you were choosing which thing to share, which oh, okay. Tab, so like click which tab you're gonna oh, share. Oh, share sound. Ah. Yeah, exactly. It's a cool. little, it's like the size of a pin top. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that. All right. I know, isn't it so tiny? <laughs> All right. So can you see it? Yeah. Okay, let me know if you can hear it. Yeah. The radical collaboration river cleanup removed 4,000 pounds of trash from Colorado waterways. How did we do it? We didn't do it alone. We collaborated with 21 community partners, businesses, government departments, nonprofits, and community organizations. It's an incredible feat to remove two tons of trash, but is it enough? 209 volunteers donated 500 hours during this challenge. We can't stop now. Our model is to build community, take action, and create change. Help us use 
use these actions to work with our policy partners to pressure our governments to legislate better environmental policies. We must create change proactively, but we can't do it alone. Join us, be radically collaborative. Together, we can create an exponential impact in the world. <laughs> Sorry. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Heather, for always clapping. <laughs> I recognize Vicky the from Zach's video how you were like looking at the interviewer instead of the camera and <laughs> that was cute <laughs> right side view <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so yeah but I, I think the thing is on the perfectionism will get you in this one and writing the script out first. And that, that's the way we kind of did in this order was to write your draft impact report first, because that reminds you, you know, what are th some things we can say quickly? And then, then let's figure out how to say it quickly, <laughs> you know, like writing the script. And then it's a lot easier once you get to that, um, that end point uh, for sure. Alpha Sose, what team are you on? I we have not seen you for a while. I forgot what your what your team is. Alpha Sose. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, the the team name is Green Art Generation. Sierra Leone. Green Earth Generation in what country? Sierra Leone. Sierra West Leone. Africa. Yes, you're here. We've missed you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> how how is your how are things going with you? Um uh, not not quite good. I I'm the team leader actually. I had a, an, uh, a road accident. Oh no. So I, yeah, I fractured my left leg and things were no good at all. I I just had the surgery one month ago. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot to handle. Yeah. Are you are you starting to feel better? Starting to be able to move around more? Yeah. I've started moving with crutches mm. I guess it's a long road to recovery yeah absolutely how about 2022 maybe Sierra Leone well, your team will be back as champions in 2022 absolutely we'll try we'll try to get back on track <laughs> by then how about in the first couple of months, did your team um, did your team do some things you want to talk about or, or you want to just kind of wait for next year? What are you thinking? Yeah, we, we, we aren't doing anything, to be honest with you. Uh, we are college students. We were so busy. Mm. And we, we are hoping for the, the, the semester break to do something eventually. I had the accident, but yeah. hopefully by 2022, we'll try to do something. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you for, for popping in because we're, yeah, you're our first team from Sierra Leone. So we really want to be there for you guys whenever you're, whenever you're ready. That's cool, no problem. <laughs> Thank you for, for coming in. And maybe, Alpha, you can be inviting people to attend the summit, you know, kind of get excited because it's free. You know, attend the summit and get them excited for next year. I'll try. The only challenge here is, you know, the internet tariff mm. is very high. Yeah. Very costly. You know, and... Most of these people are not familiar with Zoom. As for me, some colleagues may say, 
uh, I'm wasting my time, you know, doing this online stuff. So it's very much challenging to to be part of this. But I will try my best. I think that if you um, you, know, you have the general ideas of what we're doing, and any of those ideas that that can be helpful that you can transfer to your team that's really powerful because yeah you're right that having access to internet and the cost of it i spent some time in ghana and i i realize how privileged it is if you could just have internet access whenever you want and that not everybody does um so you're kind of an ambassador between your team and us. So we really appreciate that. All right. After this meeting, I will, I will send you a message through that, the, the platform. Okay. Yeah. All right. That sounds good. Yeah. So be thinking about us and how we can help, you know, be, be helping your team because yeah. That's so cool. You guys are the leaders in Sierra Leone. So uh, we want to be there for you. Yeah. All right, then no problem. All right. Well, and wishing you a strong recovery too. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, if you have any other questions, you need anything, um, like Heather, if you're working on yours, Vicky, <laughs> Vicky has a lot of experience with the, some of these editing things. And she was saying in the previous meeting that she could be a resource to answer questions or something. Um, and maybe there are probably other people too um, that could, could, uh, could reach out. Yeah, Vicky was saying, please contact me. So if anybody wants to put their contact info or or say something more but yeah because it's a one minute video it's doable we can help each other out with this we're not creating a feature film <laughs> so cool all right okay um so i'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording now and <laughs> uh,